Hey guys, today I'm here to talk to you about the synthesis of vitamin D from cholesterol. Now before we get into the actual synthesis of vitamin D, let's have a little review of cholesterol. Now we've talked about cholesterol before, and when we talked about cholesterol, we were talking about membrane fluidity. And membrane fluidity is basically why the membrane sticks together and why our cells don't freeze. And the three important parts we talked about when it comes to fluidity are high and low temperatures, the presence of cholesterol, or having saturated or unsaturated fatty acids. Now, as a little reminder, our membrane is made up of a phospholipid bilayer, which looks something like this. And our phospholipid bilayer is made up of phospholipids. And our phospholipids are composed of phosphate head groups and two fatty acid strains. Now, when we're talking about cholesterol when it comes to membrane fluidity, we're talking about having cholesterol or not having cholesterol. When cholesterol is present in the phospholipid bilayer, it goes in between the phospholipids, which causes them to spread out, as they now can't come together. Because they can't come together, fluidity increases. When cholesterol isn't present, the phospholipids can now come together, which means they'll stick more, so fluidity will decrease, as it's much harder for things to now enter the membrane. So now that we have a little review of cholesterol, let's go into the actual synthesis of vitamin D. Vitamin D is made from when ultraviolet rays from the sun enter the skin. When ultraviolet rays enter the skin, it causes cholesterol to be converted into colocalofistrol. Colocalofistrol will then travel from the skin via the bloodstream to the liver. From there, it's made into calcinol. Calciodol will then enter the bloodstream again and go to the kidneys. When it enters the kidneys, it's now converted into vitamin D. Calciodol is not finished though yet. Because it is not water soluble, it will have to bind to the vitamin D binding protein. And basically the vitamin D protein is this very elaborate folding protein. So we're just going to refer to it as this blob in a sense. So the castanol will then attach to the vitamin D binding protein. As I, I said, it is not soluble in water. So now that castanol is taken care of, let's go back to vitamin D. When vitamin D enters the bloodstream, it goes to the small intestine via the bloodstream. In the small intestines, it goes to the nucleus of the cells, where it then binds to the vitamin D receptor. When it combines with the vitamin D receptor, it makes a hormone receptor complex. The hormone receptor complex will bind with DNA to upregulate the expression of calvitin. And calvitin is basically a channel in the small intestine cells that will allow calcium to enter and to be digested. So as a little takeaway from this all, as a kind of sum up, is that when calcium levels will increase with more vitamin D. So that is basically how vitamin D is synthesized from cholesterol. I hope you enjoyed my video, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you.